Creative BioArray is an innovative biotechnology company, whose mission focuses on developing unique technologies that provide global scientists with high-quality products and satisfactory services to facilitate the investigation of life science researches. Cell proliferation is the biological process of cells increasing in number over time through cell division. Cell proliferation plays a vital role in regular tissue and cellular homeostasis for proper growth, development, and maintenance of organism. Proliferation assays monitor the growth rate of cell populations. We review four common methods for assessing cell proliferation and briefly discussing their advantages and applications. Assays that measure metabolic activity are suitable for analyzing proliferation, viability, and cytotoxicity. The determination of metabolic activity can be carried out by adding tetrazoleum salts such as MTT, XTT, WST to the cells. The reduction of tetrazoleum salts to colored form as AN compounds or the bioreduction of resazurin only occurs in metabolically active cells. Actively proliferating cells increase their metabolic activity while cells exposed to toxins will have decreased activity. It's an indirect method for detecting cell proliferation and is suitable for high throughput screening. Using colorimetric indicators provide a rapid and cost-effective method for determining changes to mammalian cell proliferation. Among the various colorimetric viability assays, the MTT assay is a well-established and popular assay. Below is an example. HCT-116 cell, a human colorectal carcinoma cell line, were treated with compound O and storosporin for 72 hours and the cell proliferation was measured by MTT assay. The most accurate proliferation detection methods are based on the incorporation and measurement of nucleoside analogs in newly synthesized DNA. 5-bromo-2-deoxyridine, BRDU, and 5-ethanyl-2-deoxyridine, EDU, are commonly used analogs. Based on this principle, several kinds of technique are developed for the quantification of cell proliferation through the measurement of newly synthesized DNA including BRDU, EDU and EDU methods. The labeled proliferating cells can be detected by several methods including immunohistochemistry, IHC, immunocytochemistry, ICC, flow cytometry and so on. It is a reliable and reproducible method for the study of cell proliferation. On the left, 3T3 cells labeled by EDU were fixed and reacted successively with fluor 594 azide. On the right, 3T3 cells labeled by BRDU, followed by using an anti BRDU monoclonal antibody and a fluor 488 conjugated secondary antibody. Early methods focused on hydrolyzable phosphorus. The use of firefly bioluminescence to measure ATP was first proposed by McElroy when he discovered that ATP was essential for light production. The use of firefly luciferase as a means to measure ATP levels has been further advanced through the use of recombinant proteins. The recombinant firefly luciferase and its substrate delucifern provide a convenient bioluminescence method for a quantitative determination of ATP. The assay is based on luciferase's requirement for ATP in producing light. It's extremely sensitive, most luminometers can be detected as little as 0.1 picomole of pre-existing or being formed in kinetic systems. This is a simple flowchart for detecting ATP content, including standard curve preparation, sample preparation, incubation with reaction mix, and measurement. Cell proliferation-associated antigens serve as markers of human cell proliferation by detecting certain proteins that are specifically expressed such as Ki-67. Ki-67 is a nuclear cell proliferation-associated antigen expressed in all active stages of the cell cycle. Ki-67 detects proliferating cells in G1, S, G2, and mitosis, but not in the G0 resting phase. Research studies have explored the use of Ki-67, along with other markers, as potential prognostic or predictive markers in breast cancer and other malignant diseases. The conventional protocol is as follows. 1. Fix cell slide for 30 to 60 minutes at room temperature, wash twice with PBS. 2. Incubate slides in permeabilization solution for 2 to 5 minutes on ice, rinse twice with PBS. 3. Block for 30 to 60 minutes, rinse in PBS for 5 minutes. 4. Incubate cells in diluted anti ki 67 antibody overnight at 4 C in a humidified atmosphere. 5. Add secondary antibody HRP conjugated egg to slide and incubate for 60 minutes at room temperature. 6. Add dab mixture to each slide and incubate for 5-10 minutes at room temperature.
Choosing a cell proliferation assay for many different options available can be a challenging task. Picking the best assay format to suit particular needs requires an understanding of what each assay is measuring as an endpoint, of how the measurement correlates with cell proliferation, and of what the limitations of the assay chemistries are. Here we provide recommendations for characterizing a model assay system and some of the factors to consider when choosing cell-based assays for manual or automated systems. If you have any questions, please contact us.